Hi guys, welcome to Pretty Little Claws. My name is Lisa Grace and today I'm going to be showing you this Christmas bauble with hand painted 3D bow. Okay, so on this nail, I've already laid down two coats of Snow White and they have been cured. I'm going to go in with my top coat. And then I've got this metal pear shaped thing. And I'm going to position about there. Okay, so I'm going to be using Abyss. And from about here, just a couple of mil above the top section of your metal thing. That was an excellent description. So I'm gonna come up and out like this and I'm gonna come down just along the side. So coming down the side of your metal ring and then I'm gonna fill this in. And then match up on the other side. Doesn't matter if it's completely even. No bow is ever perfect, so don't stress if one is slightly, one side is slightly larger than the other. It's okay. Okay, when you're happy, that can go into the lamp. Okay, so while that's in the lamp, I'm just going to get a blob of the abyss and then a blob of serious black. This is just so I can make a slightly darker shade of this blue. And then on the side of that, I'm going to make another slightly darker shade as well. So that on my palette, I've got two slightly different shades, one lighter than the other. So using the darkest of the two shades, I'm going to outline the top of this bow. And I'm going to come across as well like this, just creating the opening of the top of that bow. So I'm going to outline the rest of this bow in the darkest shade that we've made. Coming down the sides and the underneath. like that and again in the dark blue i'm going to draw the center of this bow just like so okay so now moving on to the slightly lighter shade that we made using just a very small bit this is still darker than the blue that we laid down just in the top corner of that bow i'm going to place a little bit and blend it out into that lighter blue this just creates a little bit of shadow and shade and then on this side of the bow I'm going to do it right tucked in this corner of the top of the bow and again fade that out into that lighter blue. Okay, when you're happy with that, that can go in the lamp. And while that's in the lamp, I'm going to get another blob of Abyss and a small amount of Snow White. So now we're creating highlights. So I want, I don't need much of this, just a little bit. Mix them together. Teeny, tiny bit more white. And then with the light blue that we've just made, we're going to create some highlights in the opposite corners. You only need a very, very small amount. You can keep adding to it until you're happy or you can leave as is. Okay, 
Okay, when you're happy with that, that can go into the lamp for a full curl. Okay, so I'm going to top coat this nail again. I'm going to go around my metal ring. And then I'm going to go inside the metal ring as well and add, add a little dollop of top coat in there. It's going to add a very, very small amount of this glitter. Just like that. And then I can go into the lamp for a full cure. Okay, on top of this glitter in here, I'm going to pop some more top coat. And then I've got a small snowflake that will just fit in there. Okay, that can go for a cure. Okay, in the centre of that snowflake, I'm just going to add a small blob of the blue. Just give that a flash cure. Okay, so using the 002, I'm just going to do a very, very, very faint line coming up to the top of the nail, like so. And that can have a full cure. Final top coat, just to seal everything in. And I'm going to pop my crystals on in this top coat as well. And then back in the centre of that bauble, I'm going to add a good dollop of top coat to really create this domed effect in here. Finish the bauble off. So, crystal right here. And then I've got a slightly smaller one as well, which I'll just pop at the bottom. Just there. Okay, when you're happy, that can go in for a full cure. And using vanilla cuticle oil. So here's the finished nail. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And all the links to the products used will be in the description box below. Thanks.